Amid a major escalation in Russian strikes on Ukrainian frontline positions, the Russian Air Force has begun to deploy guided glide bombs in significant quantities to complement the growing firepower being laid down by artillery and missile assets. Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Colonel Yuri Ignit warned on May 2 regarding the threat these weapons posed. Those bombs can fly about 70 kilometers, about 43 miles, and they may target the facilities of critical infrastructure, kindergartens, residential areas and educational and medical institutions, and we cannot counter this type of ammunition. Our air defense is inefficient against the bombs themselves, but we should rather try to down the Su-34 strike fighter carriers of this ammunition. Although Russia was previously thought to have had only a limited number of guided bombs in its inventory, inventories have reportedly expanded significantly since February 2022, as the defense sector has significantly increased production of a wide range of munition types. This has been done to meet the requirements of both the war in Ukraine and of defending against NATO's expanding presence near Russian territory on multiple fronts. Guided glide bombs are not only far more precise, allowing aircraft to strike many more targets each time they brave Ukrainian air defenses, but their ability to fly around 70 kilometers to their targets also significantly reduces the risks of being shot down compared to flying directly over a target using traditional gravity bombs. Ukraine's Soviet-built S-300 air defense systems are restricted to ranges of around 100 km or less depending on the variant, in contrast to modern variants of the S-300, built in Russia today, which have 400 km ranges, meaning Russian aircraft have some freedom to deploy glide bombs without a high risk of being hit. Warnings have continued to grow that Ukraine's air defense network is increasingly at risk of becoming depleted beyond hopes of replenishment, with Pentagon officials assessing that defenses assigned to protect forces on the front lines would be completely reduced by May 23. As early as November 2022 Colonel Yuri Ignat told the London-based Financial Times that the inability to procure additional missiles for S-300 and Buck systems would soon begin to limit Ukrainian forces' ability to properly intercept incoming Russian projectiles. Russian attacks singling out air defense assets, and particularly S-300s, for destruction, has only exacerbated the issue. On May 1 alongside a missile strike that destroyed 200 tons of Ukrainian munitions in Donetsk, Russian forces destroyed two missile divisions worth of S-300 air defense systems in an attack on Ukrainian depots in Pavlograd in the Dnipropetrovsk region. This followed a successful airstrike that destroyed four missile launchers for Ukrainian S-300s on April 27. With Ukraine having inherited the largest air defense network in Europe when the Soviet Union disintegrated, the much smaller Western stocks of air defense assets and productive capacities for such systems means replenishment remains highly unlikely. The result is expected to be much greater freedom of action for the Russian Air Force, as Ukraine's ability to maintain air denial continues to quickly decline a development only made more dangerous for Ukraine by the apparent abundance of guided bombs to equip Russian aircraft, such as its Su-34 strike fighters. On the other hand, in a telegram post today that Russia would soon field drones with serious weapons from 82 and 120mm mortar mines to FAB 100. It was likely that was referring to the possible deployment of the Russian Sirius drone, developed by the St. Petersburg-based Kronstadt Group. The Sirius is a heavy drone weighing 2.5 tons that can reportedly carry 450 kilograms of weapons and can stay in the air for 20 hours at an altitude of 7,000 meters, 23,000 feet.
While primarily an attack drone, the Sirius can also be used to patrol designated areas to plug gaps in defenses, using its ability to immediately attack and destroy small-sized or weakly protected targets, such as advancing reconnaissance by force teams. Equipped with a synthetic aperture radar, the Sirius can map the terrain for cruise missile routing and mortar engagements. According to the Pentagon intelligence briefing documents leaked on social media in March-April 2023, the Sirius drone took to the skies on its maiden flight on February 27. Serial production of the drone is planned at Dubna near Moscow. On November 16, 2021, Kronstadt DG Sergei Bogatikov told RIA Novosti, the prototype Sirius is already being assembled at our pilot plant in Moscow. According to various Russian sources, the drone is likely to be operationally deployed in the near future. Russian glide bombs emerged only very recently as an evolution of guided bombs. In simple terms, a glide bomb is a standoff weapon with flight controls which allow it to use a gliding flight path onto a target at a greater distance. These are the CAB-1500 series of bombs developed by Tactical Missiles Corporation JSC, roughly equivalent to the Western US Mk-84 bomb, or adjustable aircraft bomb. The derivative glide bomb variant is termed up av 1500 b It is also known as K029B. The bomb has an atypical design. As James describes. The aerodynamic design of the weapon is unusual as it employs a high aspect ratio, small cord cruciform folding wing design, unique in contemporary glide bombs. The bomb is fitted with an INS GLONASS guidance system and boasts a reported circular error probability of 10 meters. It is claimed the up ap 1500 b can be launched from an altitude of 15 kilometers and a range of 50 kilometers. The bomb was only declared operational in 2019, but its first use was not confirmed before these attacks in March 2023. There have been separate developments of glide bombs. In 2018, NPO Basalt Company, a subsidiary of Tecmash, reported the production of a PBK-500U gliding cluster bomb, with a claimed range of 30 km. A glide variant of the FAB-500 M62 was also reported. In the same year, Russian defense sources said the production by KTRV of a guided bomb missile weapon system named GROM, One variant was claimed to boast a 120 km range, with a 315 kg high explosive warhead. A second variant with a 480 kg high explosive warhead was reported with a 65 km glide range. The Grom is not strictly a glide bomb, but a hybrid guided bomb missile with propulsion and glide characteristics.